back to Urban Tropical. This is Raj and today we are going to discuss a really important topic, garden privacy. It doesn't have to be expenses. It can be achieved on such a tight budget. Actually, all pretty much if you have a semi-detached house or you have a, a terraced house, there is always overlooking problems and you want to have your own oasis. And when we bought this house, we had so many privacy issues and now we have just covered it with so many lovely plants. So it doesn't even have to be expensive. You can always do it on budget. Everything here was done on a budget. The way I think is your garden is your book and you are here to write a story, a story you can tell and a story you can be proud of. I am really proud of what we have achieved. And the key thing is there was not, there is nothing fancy in this garden. Everything is a DIY. So if I can do it, you can do it. Without me talking too much, let's get to it. So the cheapest way to achieve a privacy is through plants. Plants are just fantastic. They are not overly expensive unless you want to go for really big size plants. So this garden was really overlooked from every single side, this side, the front side, and of course this side so I really wanted to create kind of a privacy here at the same time don't feel closed off and then the very first thing we chose was bamboos now why bamboos bamboos are so fast growing and then they can really tolerate neglect the only problem with the bamboos is that they can be really invasive the rhizomes can go everywhere so you can have a clump forming or you can have a runner runner is a lot more invasive than clump forming so these ones are clump forming here and we end up building really big raised beds again that was done on a budget really cheap decking board we have used and again this is north facing side it doesn't get much sun at all but the top of the bamboos gets a lot of sun so that means I don't have to worry about the right location for the right plant because it's just going to get sun so it can soak itself all day long and keep giving me really big shoots so like these ones are all new shoots here where you see no leaves so bamboo is kind of really cool and the other cool thing about bamboos is they're so light and airy so even if you have sun behind it it will let the light come through so you won't feel kind of you have made your garden more shaded because that's what can happen sometimes if you put really huge plants and you have a smaller garden you kind of block yourself out from sunlight and I don't have a big garden it's okay -ish garden I would say a bit smaller the other cool thing you can have which is a tree tree are again super fast growing um, it just takes sometimes a year or two to establish after that there is no stopping them so the key thing is if it's going to be quite close to your house foundation wall you have to really think about it and if you want evergreen or deciduous because it depends how long you want privacy do you want look and you you don't mind it being deciduous and you don't have a privacy during winter months are you okay with that so I was okay with that so this one provides us privacy from that side the reason I picked this tree was because of its fern looking nature and I really wanted exotic look in my garden rather than just to plant any tree. This tree actually doesn't go overly huge. So far it looks really light and airy. Always check the eventual size of the plant or the tree you are planting rather than the time you are buying it. So it really makes a big difference. Again, there is super cheap options to have even bottle brush plant. They are super cheap to buy. They grow really fast. They grow approximately a foot. Is I mean, this one grows a foot a year. It's a dwarf variety. I don't expect it to grow any more longer. But again, there are taller shrubs. You can have evergreen. Of course, if you are so much into exotics, you can have palm trees. You can have a date palm you can have a fan palm you name there are so many palms the only thing with palms is they are really expensive and uh, one the two reasons I don't have a lot of palm tree not a lot I don't have any palm tree other than cordy lines here the reason palm tree bigger size are 200 pound plus second they need a lot of space and I have got really skinny borders so the leaves will be just banging against my fence and causing a dent I might end up buying a palm but that's a different discussion altogether so or you go for exotic moose abasju is really really fast growing banana plant or you can even have ensete they are all ensete is almost like annual or you can treat it uh, store it moosa is hardy you can put fleece around it in winter protection if you um, just want you can put it in your conservatory if you have that i don't have any of that so this one gives you really good feel that you are you have kind of a privacy at the same time it's not really dense planting or you can go for just roses. 
uh, for me roses are amazing has a special place in my heart and i just think they give you so much privacy i mean if i look at this one this is approximately four meter tall pretty much and when winter comes in or late spring i just cut off not late late winter i just prune it all off really harsh and it comes back every year it gives us so much flowers and privacy at the same time if you are into self-sustainable mode you can grow fruit trees and they you can grow dwarf ones you can grow semi-vigorous ones or the vigorous ones it's all your choices so there are so many things you can have which are not overly expensive you don't need to hire someone you just plant it so that's number one second structure so we have used kind of structure here to give a different dimension to our garden and at the same time it gives us a shade underneath and we can just sit and just nice and relaxing the most easily available option you can buy is a pergola so pergolas are so cool it gives you immediately the feeling of being enclosed so you have kind of a private space at the same time you can put honeysuckle on it calamities on it roses on it you name it and all that creates a really nice scenery for you so it's kind of like your own little world you don't know what's outside this is you again it's your book you write it uh, again you can use plants to hide unsighty viewings so we have got this shed here really don't like the view of it and we end up making all this this is all built on a concrete area and it's not no one was hired we just did it for the very first time ourselves again you can even grow acer trees if you are into acer who doesn't love acer they you can grow dwarf one high one it really depends on what you are after so there are a lot of options the last one i want to discuss is this one so if you have unsighty walls and you just don't like to look at them i have this one so i end up putting a lot of trellises which looks nice as it is and then i have a planter jasmine again here i wanted something to be evergreen i didn't want to look at this at all so the whole point is this will be smothered with evergreen uh, jasmine which gives amazing flowers and i just think it will be so cool or you can just have a slatted screens if you want to hide something on side I'm just going to attach pictures of them and so there are so many ideas I really really hope that this video was well worth it and it has given you some kind of ideas if you want to go for hedges or you want to go for bamboos or you just want to go for screens or just want to go for trellises or just want to go for perla so the options are limitless I really really hope that this was a good video thank you so much for watching and if you have any comments how to make a better privacy please leave your comments because there are so many people who are always thinking about these things I did I'm sure if you have done it all you did it too so there I mean because we have semi detached or terraced houses everything is so next to each other privacy always becomes a kind of number one problem as soon as you think I want to enjoy my garden I really really hope that it was useful thank you bye bye